find it useful. I think you've highlighted two ways in which it's actually not useful, in fact, counterproductive. The first one is something like misattribution of features that it doesn't have, like it's experiences fear, it's, it has regrets before, like it's a full-blown agent that deserves rights. So it goes down a, an insane path of attributing sentience and consciousness. And eventually you're probably going on the path towards moral worth or something along those lines if you keep yeah. going. And so it's misattribution that lead, could eventually lead to really bizarre worldviews, both ethical and otherwise. And the second kind of thing that I heard you say is something like, and it's related, it's overconfidence in what the thing can do. So if you use the metaphor of the mind, you begin to think, oh, this is a thinking thing. We have ample evidence it's not a thinking thing. The goat, simple goat puzzle is an example that it's not actually thinking. If it did understand, it would make such a stupid mistake. It made such a stupid mistake. Therefore, it's uh, not actually understanding, not actually reasoning. And so when you have overconfidence in a technology or any tool for that matter, that's of course going to lead to everything from hiccups to disaster. Yeah, exactly. And so I think the metaphor is very useful as a marketing strategy, but it's not yeah. very useful right. for any other purpose. And it's actually harmful when it leads people to misunderstand the capabilities of the tool they're using. And as you point out, not only over rely on it, but also attribute features to it that can cause us to be captured by fears that aren't reasonable.